Welcome, welcome to the Master's Table. Thank you so much for joining us today. What a beautiful day the Lord has given us. A beautiful yeah. day to make some good food for That's you. Right. So I am your host. I'm your, oh, sorry. I'm you not are, your host. You are I'm still your co host. <laughs> I'm your co host, Tina Cleveland. This is my husband, Pastor Frankie Cleveland. He is your host and he's your cook. So he's going to tell you what we're going to, what he's going to fix we, What today. we're going to attempt today. Yeah. I, I've had a request, and, and I'm going to say this in our opening today. Uh, if you have something that you want us to cook or our favorite recipe and you'd like to see it prepared on here and see how we would do it, just reach out to us. My email will be on the screen. Um, but I've had this request from someone and they wanted to see how to make some tacos or some street style tacos or some just real tacos. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do some, some steak and some chicken tacos today. Um, I, I think it's going to be good. Uh, I like it. I don't know if you're going to like it or I not, know, but what you don't like. It's pretty hard to mess up a taco. I'll, I'll eat it, but we'll, um, we'll go over the ingredients <laughs> as we work our way through. But we got sirloin steak and chicken and we got some peppers and onions and all that good stuff. Guacamole. That goes yeah, homemade guacamole. Yeah, I need to set that over here so I don't forget about it. Let's set that right there so I don't forget. You remind me to say something about that. All right. You know, I'll tell you how I put that together. That is easy and it's good when you make it at home. Um, but I think I think we're going to cover it. Like I said, I think we'll cover everything when we come back. I don't want to get too much into it and then run out of time. So I think we'll uh, we'll, we'll take a quick break and um, and we'll go over these ingredients and we'll get some stuff chopped up and get you to stir and we're going to make up something. So... Y'all grab something to write with and get you a pen, a piece of paper, pencil, or iPhone, so something that, that you, you can take some notes on, because this is a good one right here. You're going to want to make sure you do this for your family. So y'all just stay with us, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. And welcome back. We're going to start showing you now about some street tacos yeah this is well this is this is sirloin steak i picked this up on sale like i told you i'm a value shopper we try to make these budget friendly and you say oh bro frank in these times i can't go buy no steak or nothing just watch the meat counters and if you visit there regular they start marking stuff down you can get it you can buy it and cook it right then or you can buy it and put it in your in your your freezer and you can save it for later but i picked these sirloins up on sale so we're going to be using real sirloin for our tacos and I'm going to start dropping some of this in there for you, and we'll start browning this and then seasoning it a little bit along the way. And actually, I'm not going to put a whole lot of seasoning. Uh, if you got good, good ingredients, you don't have to have a whole lot of seasoning. So I'm going to, I'm, I'll am going i start dropping it, and I'm going to continue to cut. So I'm just going to start putting a little bit of that in there. This is on a medium heat. You can cut these up as little, and they'll stick a little bit to start with, but just keep, just let them, they'll release themselves in just a second. We'll, uh, we'll add a little bit of that, and I'll keep chopping some of this up. I love tacos. And we're going to have some good ones here in just a minute. This, like I say, this is just regular sirloin steak. I'm going to cut it kind of thin because it won't take this long at all. I'm going to cut this up and we're going to drop a little bit more and I'll start seasoning and I'll go over our ingredients of what we're going to do right here. Um, there's different things you can put in and different seasonings and you can do a lot of different ways. But I'm going to show you the the master's table way here in just a second. We'll cut just a little bit more of this right that here. That steak is cutting good. That It's not tough like a lot of steaks. It's knife sharp, too. Oh, uh, that's it. Yep. It is It is tender, though. It is tender. Let's go ahead and add that little bit right there. And I'm going I'm to rinse my hands off. You just keep on mixing that. Like I say, we'll start with a sirloin. And then we're going to add a little bit of, we're going to do a little bit of chicken also. We'll do some chicken. But what I like to do is, first of all, I like to I like to start with just a little bit of all-purpose. This is my all-purpose. I'm going to cut that heat up for you just a little bit, and that pan's going to cool down. And you may have to cut it back down in a few minutes. Um, that's just like a medium. Right now, I bumped it up to a medium-high heat. I generally try to cook on a medium, but putting all that cool meat in there, it, it's cooling our pan down. So this is all-purpose season. This is black pepper, garlic, onions, uh, paprika, a lot of different things mixed together. It saves you from having those 10 different things sitting on the counter. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a coat. And I know y'all say, Brother Frankie, that looks like a lot, but it's really not because there's not a lot of salt in there. So we'll, we'll do that and let you get that first little bit of batch right there mixed up. And I may go ahead and, as that cooks a little bit more, I may, may let you add just a little bit more of this. I think you'll have room in there. Just so uh, when it settles down a minute, just let it sit there just a second and let it, let it do its thing on the bottom of that pan. Let it keep good contact right there just like that, and then you can give it another good, good stir here in just a minute. 
I think this is about all our pans going to hold. We may have to save that bite right there and cook that for Miss Marley. Marley will be ready to eat when we get home, so I'll save her some scraps. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add just a little bit more. I know you got that cooking right there, but I'm going to add a little bit more. So I'm going to, I'm not the hand I touch the meat with the other hand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to season that just a little bit. All right, you just keep on stirring. And one of my favorite go-tos I'm going to add next is a, it's an all-purpose. I like to put it on everything, too. It's like an all-purpose seasoning to me. But I, I love this, this Sazon. This is um, Sazon. It's like an all-purpose. You can find this uh, uh, where the, uh, the Hispanic or Mexican food or whatever you're on that international aisle. You'll find this um, in that aisle, this Sazon seasoning. It's, like a, it's almost like a chicken bouillon, I guess, flavor. Um, I guess if I had to put it, I, I don't really know what, it, it's just good, and it's good on everything. Is that on top of that? Yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna mix this in. You're just gonna keep on stirring. This is just one pack of Sazon seasoning. You just keep on letting that cook. So those are, those are real, that steak's cut pretty thin, so it's not gonna take it long. It's not gonna take it long at all to, to cook. Go ahead and cut that on, on up on that high and let that pan come on up to temperature. We'll get it good and hot, so it'll go ahead and cook that, and then we can drop a little bit of chicken. We'll pull that, and we'll put some chicken in there. And so what I'm going to do, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll save this piece of steak, and we'll do something with here in just a minute. I'm going to put this to the side. We're going to do something with that, and I'm going to swap out my cutting board for right now, and I'm going to cut up the chicken in just a little bit. But I want to go ahead while you got that cooking, and we're going we're gonna to cook some of these vegetables. I'm going to rinse this off, Tina, while you keep mixing that. I'm gonna wash this knife off right quick and this cutting board so I can use it again in a minute for our chicken. And I would think that you could substitute any kind of meat you want for this. Yeah, anything you like. Shrimp, yeah. fish. This. I don't like fish tacos, but a lot of people do. Yeah, I like fish tacos. I like fish tacos, but I really like the shrimp. I like yeah. the steak and shrimp and the chicken and shrimp. And the, um, I just, I guess that's probably one of my biggest problems. I like everything. I like everything, and I probably eat way too much. So, is that all? That's coming on together pretty good, ain't it? So, what we're gonna do next? We're gonna cut some of this bell pepper, and you can cut these however way you want to. I found this right here is the quickest way for me. I just like to cut all all the sides off and take that core out, cut that little bit of white out, and then we'll just give this a just kind of a long, just kind of a long rough chop. We'll be ready to dump those in here in a little bit, Tina. How's that looking over there? Is that coming on pretty good? Mm. Yeah. It don't take it long. It, it cooks a lot faster than what you think it would. This is going to go ahead and be pre-cutting some of this right here and have it ready to go in that pan here in just a minute. This would be almost like uh, this, this is in the neighborhood of fajitas. Um, you could say almost like fajitas tacos but uh any way you look at it it's gonna be good so i got that one is i'm colorblind is that orange or yellow yellow that's yellow okay that's a yellow pepper and this one's a red right yeah i really am colorblind i don't see color much at all so i have to ask tina sometimes and she's pretty used to riding women saying red light green light <laughs> cars are stopping so because i don't don't wear that <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's one thing I like to dress, and a lot of times on Sunday morning, I'll come out with something, and, uh, and, and I've learned she don't have to say anything. She just looks at me and goes. <laughs> so I know I need to go back and get something else on. So, But um, they did give me a pair of, of those uh, colorblind gla the glasses made for colorblindness a few years ago at Christmas. And besides my wife and my children, and first and foremost, God saving me and my wife and then my children, um, those glasses have been the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Um, I still pull over on the side of the road sometimes now and just cry. I think about some of the things I've never been able to see in, until now. You know, I just, there's not many days, sunny days, that I don't wear those glasses that go by that I don't, yeah. that I don't look out the window and thank God just for more than I ever realized yeah. was in this world and I never could even see. A lot of us take all that for granted. We take a lot of things for granted. You know, we, uh, we we take I, I know I do and I, I don't I won't speak for everybody out there but I think you'd agree with me that uh, we all take a whole lot for granted. Well, just waking up in the mornings, 
is a blessing from God. Just so I thank God that he opened my eyes today. And we got to come in here and cook one more time. And if I don't ever get to come back and cook again, if I leave this world, I'll be cooking when we get to glory. So yep. I'll have your plate ready when you get there. <laughs> so I'm going to continue to cut these. I'm just cutting these up. It's just kind of a rough, long chop. No particular. I mean, you could even chop these. Is that, um, you think that's about done? I don't know. Look at it. It ain't done enough for me, but it, could it ain't be done enough for you. Done. Well, well, we'll let it cook a little bit more. We'll let it cook just a little bit longer. Don't want to let it get like done, done, we, super done. It's yeah. gonna, it's gonna continue to cook a little bit when we take it out. That, that right there is getting warm. It'll be ready oh, for yeah. our tortillas in a little bit. Let me reach, reach right there and cut that down just a little bit, about halfway, right there. Yep, that is getting just about right. We're gonna do some. We'll do a few tortillas. If we have time, we'll do them before before we get done with this right here. But I think that's uh, that's cooking pretty good right there. And we also learned that it you need to invest in a meat thermometer. That makes all the difference in the world in your in your meat and yep. how it tastes. And with that being we said, we used to overcook everything. I'm gonna be real careful with this jalapeno. I, you know, I, I generally like to tell you to be. To not, I don't even like to cut jalapenos up, and I don't know what I have some gloves laying around here somewhere. I don't know what I've done with them. But uh, be very careful when you're cutting up jalapenos and don't touch your face or your eyes. Make sure you wash your hands really well when you get done because it never fails. You know, after I cut a jalapeno up like what I'm doing right now, I wind up touching my face or something and I pay for it the rest of the afternoon if you get that in your eye. I, when, uh, you remember when I, I went to my grandma's house way back long time ago and she had red peppers growing in the garden. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what they were, and I just went out there and picked them and all, and then I was rubbing my face, and whoo, it was a mess. It was a mess. So and nobody yeah. had to tell you again about it. That's uh -uh. all. But it's but it's kind of too late. Um, after the fact, it just has to run its course and wear off, I guess. But um, these are nice size jalapenos. These are good ones, so we won't need a whole lot. I am gonna chop these up. Just gonna drop these until they'll, they'll cook a little bit. Are you going to cook them in that hot oil? No, we're just going to take that meat out and you're going to put them in that pan right there. Mm. Mm. No, we're <laughs> going to put the tortillas in there. <laughs> Unless you want me to put them in the hot oil. I don't know what you're going to do with that hot oil. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't fire a full one. All you know, I know is it. I don't want it popping up. I can see yeah. you dropping something no. and then it pop up. Well, we could put a little, this, 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 it's not too hot. It's not too hot. We turned it down. We'll have to turn it back up. Those are uh, that That's order. probably getting pretty done okay, right go there. Okay, won't you go ahead and take that and leave, leave all that flavor in the bottom right there. Just, just take your, um, yeah, take that I plate. Uh, I need a scooper. Do you need that? No. That, that, that won't work. forever to do that. Okay. I don't know if I got another spoon in here or not. I got a spoon right here. Will this spoon right here work? That's right. I think you're doing pretty good with that right there. That looks good. I was going to go ahead and cook up these vegetables, and then when we have time, we'll go ahead and drop this chicken. We'll do a little bit of chicken to go along with this. That's a, that's a, that's a good bit. That looks good. I don't want it to... Let's do this. Um, I should have got you something to... Well, hold your plate right there and just wrap yep. it over there. So what we want to do, we want to leave that flavor, but I will. I don't want my pan to dry out too much. So we're going to put just a, that's probably a tablespoon of olive oil. And Miss Cleveland, I'm going to let you, uh, I'm just going to drop these, these peppers. Let them cook down a little bit. Let's put these jalapenos down on the bottom. Make sure they cook. Yeah, these peppers. Well, this looks good right here. And I don't know, you know, they always say you need to have a lot of color, so I know we got color because we That's got pretty right there. We got red, we got green, and you said it's yellow. It looks orange to me, but I'm gonna take your word for it because I can't see color. <clears throat> One more little bit right there. Why don't you let you stir that up a little bit? We'll cook them about halfway. We don't want to cook them to the we don't want to cook them too done. I don't want them to be mushy. I just want them to be 
about half done. While you got those going, I'm going to go ahead and cut up a little bit of this chicken. Now, I do want to talk about this. Uh, give me that, that, that guacamole right there. I want to talk about this for a minute. Uh, I picked up just some, uh, I mean, just a few ingredients. I mean, really, and just, I mean, put this together no matter what. There, there's a, um, we got a loss for words right now. We got a, there's a, probably a hat. I don't even know if there's a half, probably a quarter of an onion, probably a, half, a chop, finely chopped this, uh, onion. Um, probably, I don't know, probably a half of a tomato. Didn't put a whole tomato. I don't, I don't, tomatoes don't, they don't like the inside of my mouth. So I don't put a whole lot of tomatoes. But then the, um, I think a, a tablespoon, of, I can't remember, I'm trying to think. I, I don't have it laying in front of me. I, I think I put a tablespoon of garlic a tablespoon of onion powder and I think that was it and it turned out good my daughter liked it she loves guacamole so um we're gonna find out here in a little bit but this is homemade so this is uh we got homemade guacamole we got uh we, we got the toppings go we got two different cheeses we got tomatoes we got onions uh, I was going to cut up an onion and put it in there but we already got onions over here so I think we're just going to go with mm -hmm. the peppers today but you yeah. could slice up a you could slice up an onion and put it in there if, if you if you wanted. You know everybody don't like onions, so uh, we'll let them we'll let them put them on. We'll put just a pinch of salt. We don't hadn't put anything else because that our seasoning <clears throat> our seasoning don't have any salt much in it. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt on that, and then we're gonna put a little bit of the, the garlic and black pepper. We're gonna let those cook on a little bit more. That's coming together pretty good, Miss Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Now, while she's doing that, I'm going to show you something else uh, that I love to do. Like, say, with the, um, um, along with the homemade guac, I said, well, you know what? We might well make some salsa. Everybody loves the chips and salsa and dip when we go to a restaurant to eat. So I'm going to show you how simple this is. I'm going to show you right here. Now, matter of fact, I would bring that over there, but that cord won't reach that far. So I'll let y'all get me from the side right here so everybody can see. This is, I'm going to start. This is, this is... One pound, that's 28 ounces, one pound, 12 ounces. This is, this is 28 ounces of this is just regular diced tomatoes. And you can get whatever kind you want. This is just, this is diced tomatoes. And I am going to put some onion in there. I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut a little piece. We're going to put some onion in that. Need some onion, just a little bit. I'll cut the ends off of that. We'll do this. This is really good. This is really simple, and you're going to see how quick this right here really comes together right here, this homemade salsa. This is very, very, very simple. And I'm going to give these just a, just a quick rough chop. I know that's going to cut it up, but I still, want to, I still want to give it a little head start right here. So we're going to take this, and we're going to dump this. We're going to put this whole thing just like that right there, that half of onion. All right now, I'm gonna reach over here and get a. This is uh this is fl fresh cilantro. We'll cut about half those stems. Now the stems give it a lot of flavor too, so I don't want to cut it all off. But I'm just gonna give this a little rough chop because, like I say, it's gonna it's gonna cut it up when it goes in. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And the and the real key to this is the salt. And you can put as little or as much as you like. And I, and I washed this. I went ahead and pre-washed this earlier. I'm going to cut just a little bit more. Just give it a little rough chop just so it's got a little bit of a head start. So what I'm going to do now is take my salt. And this is key. This is this is what pushes. This is that's a that's probably going to be. I'm going to start with about three healthy pinches of salt right there. That's what we're going to do, and then we're going and this. Like I always tell you, taste as you go. You have to taste and check out things as you go along the way. So I'm gonna, we're going to give this a chop. We're going to see where it's at. Okay, 
it's still got a few little chunks in there, so let me see if I can find another. We got another spoon right here somewhere. And like I said, this, this is one of the things that you have to do when you're making sauce and stuff. You've got to check this because uh, a, a little bit or too much makes a lot of difference in this. I'm just gonna get just one little, one little taste and see what else it needs. I think the only thing it needs is just a little bit, just another pinch or two of salt. We'll put about two more. I'm gonna try two more pinches. Those are just generous pinches of salt. And um, we'll we'll mix this one more time. I'm not gonna let it just completely blend and just completely go away. Oh, I was gonna look see if I had a bowl. I don't have a bowl. Yeah, I got one right here. There's a bowl right here. Yeah, I'll use this one. We'll we'll bowl that up here in just a minute. Um, what are you thinking about those, Miss Cleveland? I think they're pretty done. We'll clean some of the stems and stuff up. All right, so what we'll do is we'll finish doing a little bit of prep work right here on this. And I'm gonna set this onion right here to the side because somebody might want that. I was hoping we'd have time to do some of that chicken, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna cut it up just right now. We'll, uh, we'll wait and cut up and do the chicken next time. Um, but you would do the chicken you would do the same thing. You would just like we done the steak in the beginning. You would uh, you would take and just slice the chicken up thin, and and cook it till it's done. Um, I mean, really and truly, the chicken don't take. I mean, that steak don't take long. It's a quarter and a half thin. You cut it, but you cut it thin, just a just a couple of minutes on each side on the chicken thin strips, and it's done. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut up just a couple more things to. Go with this. We're gonna garnish it up real good here in just a minute. I'm gonna rinse this off where I cut up that onion, so I can cut some limes. We're gonna do it up just right. This is this is this is a favorite dish of mine too. I like everything. Like I tell y'all all the time, I like everything. God giving us a lot of good stuff to cook and prepare and make and do. And so, so what I'm gonna do. Miss Cleveland, you got those ready. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do is cut this lime. I'm gonna chop this up right here just like this. I know everybody likes a little bit of lime. And we're gonna get ready to put this together. We're gonna go to a break here in just a minute. We're gonna get ready to, to plate this up. And we're gonna do a little taste test on it. And we may, uh, we may have some left for somebody else to eat. I don't know. It ain't looking too promising right now because it looks really good to me. We may do a, we may drop a couple of tortillas in there. What I like to do, I, I was heating this oil up, and we may, we may not have time. But uh, I like to take just the regular, the, the regular corn tortillas, cut these in, the, in, cut them in half, cut them in half again, drop those in there for about 45 seconds. Better than any store bought tortilla you can ever eat. So, um, what you think, Miss Cleveland? You ready to give this a taste test? Mm -hmm. I think you got it good and done. I like it. It looks good. And it, it even smells good. So we're gonna go to a quick break right quick. We're gonna get uh, get cleaned up a little bit right here. We'll have a plate and we'll try this out and we'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. This is the best part. And welcome back. We Wait. have the finished product here. They're frying. Yep, we got, the, I, I wanted to drop a couple of tortillas right quick and, and, and show you. We got this pan here heating up and we just, we're just really warming those tortillas. But this is what I wanted to show you. Um, this this oil, and I couldn't find my thermometer a while ago, but I mean, it, it's hot enough, it's cooking them. But you want to heat your oil to about 350. And if you have a little one of those little electric fryers at home, they work great too. You can drop these in. And literally, literally in, in about 45 seconds, Tina, pull me out the paper towel back there. And we're going to lay these on a paper towel and we're just to make you up something to eat right quick. Do you lay that right there and hand that plate to me? And I'm gonna lay these on here right quick. Just a few of them. We get and these don't out. cook them too long. We yep. did that one time. Yeah, if you cook them too long, they get hard. And while they're, while they're still kind of wet, we're gonna salt them. You wanna go ahead and salt them pretty quick. That Get that uh, salt uh, cellar right there, Tina. Go ahead and get you a pinch. Get you a good pinch, and we're gonna salt these up. And then we're gonna make you up a taco. Now, I'm just old school. I just like to go ahead and do it. So what we're going to do right here, 
I got a bowl right here. Y'all remember we made the salsa a while ago. I'm gonna try to get this dumped up before we gotta let you go. We're gonna dump that in there. And here's what we're gonna do. We've had this, this taco right here. This season, that's just right. Boy, that's good and warm. Matter of fact, I'm gonna move them over there because I'm gonna cook them in a minute. Hold that for me, Miss Cleveland. We're gonna do that. I got a spoon right here somewhere. I just had one. Here's this, I'll use this one right here. This will be perfect for this right here. So we'll mix that up a little bit. We'll use these to grab you just a little bit of this. Look here. What you want on it? You want some cheese? You want some? Put you a little bit. Uh, just that. You want some of the peppers? No. You don't want no peppers? No, I just want to try this right here. Okay, you just want to try that right there. Okay, well, <laughs> y'all see, Tina, all she wants is the meat. She's a meat and potatoes person. I am person. plain Jane. But she's plain, so try it out and see what it tastes like to you. It's good. Pretty good? Mm hmm You ain't got much on there. We got, plain, sometimes we got plain onions. Is good. All the, the, the garnishments to go with. I mean, you can put anything you want on there. Chips, salsa. You got a, a, a taco meal ready in just a few minutes. So join us next time on the master's table. It's time to go. We got to get out of here. We got some eating to do. Y'all be blessed. And we will see you next time. God is good all the time. <laughs> <laughs>